Well, good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and it is a blessing to be with all of you here today. Now, as we continue in the book of Proverbs, we are in the last half of chapter 6, and Solomon is warning us against sexual immorality, specifically the sin of adultery. Listen to what he says in verse 32 of chapter 6. He says this, He who commits adultery lacks sense. He who does it destroys himself. It says he lacks sense, that he's lacking sound judgment, and that he's lacking an understanding of moral principles. In other words, he's being an utter fool. Then it says, he who does it destroys himself. But not only himself, but his whole household as well. His marriage, his children, his character will all be affected by this destruction. Now remember, this is godly wisdom warning us against adultery so that we can avoid such devastation in our lives. So how do we protect ourselves and avoid this temptation as followers of Christ? Well, the same way that we protect ourselves in any temptation by remaining in God's word. Only when we follow and obey God's word and his wisdom and keep them in our hearts will it guard us, protect us, and guide us. Listen to what Solomon says in verses 20 to 23. He says this, My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. Bind them on your hearts always. Tie them around your neck. And when you walk, they will lead you. When you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp and, they te and the teaching a light. And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. You see, God is speaking to us through his word. And it is up to us to listen and apply his wisdom in our daily lives. This is a constant guarding of our hearts because temptation may go away for a while, but will always come back at an opportune time. So husbands, protect your marriage. Wives, protect your marriage and avoid this foolish sin by keeping Christ at the center of your marriage, by listening and obeying his word and allowing his wisdom to guide you both. Remember, the vows that you said to one another weren't just some simple words, but they were a promise to your spouse and before God himself to be faithful to one another till death do you part. God bless you and have a wonderful day.